Chicken Bone John here and that was a sort of take on Stevie Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy. I'm not going to do an exact copy of it but I want to show you the basic techniques to be able to get that sort of shuffle going. First thing, I've got a lot of gain on the out and I'm using a twin pickup guitar and I'm using the bridge rather than the neck pickup to get a bit more cut out of it. Okay, um, we'll concentrate, there's the two bits, there's this walking bass thing that's happening and the rhythm. <coughs> I'll not bother covering the, the intro right now, as I've not really got that down myself anyway, but I'm going to concentrate on the rhythm. So these are the two parts, there's what's happening with the left hand, this sort of walking bass, and that walking bass goes up and down the fretboard, it's not all in the one position, and what's happening with the right hand. And that is probably the most important thing. For this I'm using a pick. I don't often use uh, a pick, but on this I think it's probably easier. Is this up and down. And what I do, I let my hand rock. You see my hand rock and I'm going to lightly be dragging and flip, dragging the plectrum up and letting it flip as I come over. I'm not I've not got it held hard in my finger and I'm not hitting them hard. The guitar's wound up pretty loud so you don't need to hit it hard. There's some heavy strings on here so they've got a lot of resistance. I've got a, a 46, I think it's a 4630-22 tuned GDG or thereabouts. It may have drifted out. And it's this, and I'm also damping the uh, bass string a bit with this part of my hand, the heel of my hand. You hear it's not, not doing that. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. down I'm sort of choking the strings off on the bass to get much more of the rhythm. Bear in mind we're doing this solo where there normally be another bass part and possibly another guitar part in the car, I don't know but <laughs> It's a typical walking bass pattern. So the main thing is we're going to be here in the open position down at the bottom end of the neck. We're going to be here on the 5th fret and at the 7th fret. Let's see if I can talk you through those moves. the basic move you can slide or hammer on into that bottom that where we go So that's the basic riff and you've got to repeat that now as it goes up the fretboard. So instead of having the open here, we've gone out, we're going to be fingering this, we're going to be fretting it, putting it on the fifth. What 
What I'll try and aim to do is move my hand as little as possible. So it's easier if you sort of nominate one of your fingers to each fret. So we've got... I was using my little finger there. I could introduce my third finger if I think about it. Okay. That's letting the, you see the difference between letting the notes ring out and then damping it. Then you drop down to that original riff. Then we go to the seventh and sort of repeat what we were doing here. It gets easier as you go up because the distances get smaller. I'm just putting a double stop in here on the second fret in the middle, third fret on the top, the high string. Bearing in mind, I'm not aiming to do a note for note reproduction of what Stevie Ray Vaughan played. I'm just trying to get a little bit of the flavour. Um, so the riffs won't be the same, the pattern, bass pattern won't be the same, the chords certainly won't be the same because I can't achieve all those same chords on only three strings. But I'm hoping you'll get a little bit of the flavour of what's going on. So remember, um, the rhythm with the right hand is down. Can you see, as my hand's coming up, the emphasis on the downbeat. Down, down, down. And that's where I'm... As I'm putting that hand down, this part of my hand is hitting the strings to chop that bass. So we pl we're doing the pair part of the bass player. You can let the upper notes ring out over the bass. Okay, see if I can do that little lead bit. We're up on here on the 10th fret on the top string, 12th fret on the middle string. You slide it up so then it's at the 12th and the 14th. Back down to the 10 and 12. So I'm bending that. You can do it either way, you can stay up here or slide back down because we're going to be sliding back down here to the fifth. So that's a little bit that Stevie Ray Vaughan Texas Shuffle sound. I hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions, drop me a message, email me on chickenbonejohn.com and I'll try and answer your questions as best I can. Okay, thanks for dropping in and bye for now. <laughs>